that's Nazi Germany Hitler. You can't silence your political opponents because you don't agree with them. Joe Biden should be in prison for his bribes. If Donald Trump were to be found guilty by a jury, <laughs> where, where, where do you see this going? Uh, civil war. Civil war. Divide it up because we can't live together, obviously. That was a Trump diehard talking to MSNBC New Hampshire. On top of calls for civil war, there were other MAGA faithful volunteering to guard Donald Trump and keep him from going to jail. And if he wants me to protect them, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to let him know that I'll do it. The vote was stolen. I believe it. In my heart. Remember, they blew up one of the uh, election quarters where they kept all of the Dominion machines. Why'd that blow up? Actually, it did not blow up. There was no explosion. The Dominion Voting Machine Center was not tampered with. But wild conspiracy theories and the suspension of reality are a hallmark in MAGA world, thanks to right-wing media and also thanks to Donald Trump. At the New Hampshire rally, the former president took no responsibility for his criminal charges and placed all of the blame on Joe Biden. How can my corrupt political opponent, crooked Joe Biden, put me on trial during an election campaign that I'm winning by a lot, but forcing me nevertheless to spend time and money away from the campaign trail in order to fight bogus, made-up accusations and charges. That's what they're doing. I'm sorry, I won't be able to go to Iowa today. I won't be able to go to New Hampshire today because I'm sitting in a courtroom on bullshit because his attorney general charged me with something. Now, it's not just the Justice Department which alleges Donald Trump committed crimes. Several of Trump's Republican opponents say his actions after the 2020 election went too far and were illegal. One of those Republican rivals is former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. He says Vice President Mike Pence, another 2024 GOP candidate, would help convict Donald Trump if Pence was called to testify. So Trump hit back at Christie with this. No, no, Christie's he's eating right now. He can't be bothered. Sir, please do not call him a fat pig. That's very disrespectful. Don't call him. See, I'm, I'm trying to be nice. Don't call him a fat pig. You can't do it. You can't do that. Even though Trump just did. The MAGA supporters at these rallies describe Trump as funny and entertaining and say they appreciate Donald Trump saying things out loud that are politically incorrect. He's not fake. He's, he's up front. You know what he's thinking. He, he tells the truth. He was a little more honest than the rest of them. Uh, he, he said things that, uh, that were true and the others, they, they don't. I believe he's the most persecuted president we've ever had. And I, I think it's, he's, he's worth the trouble. The trouble with Trump, though, on top of the criminal cases and the blatant lies, is the hypocrisy. Donald Trump is outraged and infuriated over the indictments against him. But during the 2020 campaign, he publicly called on his attorney general to indict Democrats, including Trump's presidential campaign challenger, Joe Biden. Unless Bill Barr indicts these people for crimes, the, the greatest political crime in the history of our country, then uh, we're going to get little satisfaction unless I win and we'll just have to go because I won't forget it. But these people should be indicted. This was the greatest political crime in the history of our country. And that includes Obama and it includes Biden. But is this going to be the future of elections in America where a sitting president tells his tells his attorney general to indict the opponent, to try and knock the opponent down? This is what's happening. And what's happening to Trump, according to some Republicans, is that he is now even more unhinged than ever. His claims have gotten wilder. His attacks on Democrats and Republican rivals are more personal and vitriolic. And Trump literally appears to be melting down, though in New Hampshire, the room he spoke in was unusually warm. In any case, Trump's MAGA supporters do not care how Trump looks, sounds, or comes across to most of America. The MAGA faithful, while perhaps smaller in number than a few years ago, have been consistent in their feverish Trump support. They are convinced the deep state and the political establishment are out to get Donald Trump and are now using the court system to try and remove him. The argument is absurd and defies logic, but then again, it doesn't make sense to plunge America into a civil war. And in MAGA world, such a war is on the horizon. By the way, Colorado's Lauren Boebert and Arizona's Kerry Lake, two of Trump's top right-wing political allies, have been caught lying about the media and about Democrats in the Trump cases. All that January 
fix was, was a staged riot to cover up the fact that they certified a fraudulent election. CNN wouldn't even air no. President Trump's remarks after the arraignment. This is a very sad day for America. Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.